Investors, not too long ago, I posted a dividend smackdown video pitting the all-famous Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF against a rather formidable monthly paying ETF, the JP Morgan's Equity Premium Income ETF. Now today, I want to get even more extreme with yet another dividend smackdown video for all those dividend investors looking exclusively for a monthly paying ETF, and we're going to keep it all in the same firm today, pitting the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF against its own JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF. Yes, crazy, insane, unthinkable, but here we are. Now, if you're new here, I'm Ari, a dividend investor here on YouTube, looking to keep it incredibly simple with all of you and helping with economic insights and new dividend stock ideas, video to video. But now enough talking, let's dive right in. So you are looking to generate monthly passive income or just drive more dividend income your way with an exchange traded fund because you've realized that investing into a basket of funds is way easier than trying to pick a handful of winning stocks. First and foremost, kudos to you. But now focus because there are thousands of ETFs out there. But then you pierce through popular blogs and sifted through YouTube videos to come to find two of the most talked about monthly paying dividend ETFs. We're talking about the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF and its non-identical twin, the JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF. And you're now asking yourself, well, which one of these is the which better buy? The I'm here to say you've landed on the right video as we're about to break both of these dividend ETFs down so you can ultimately come to make a more informed decision for yourself as an empowered investor. But just before we get to this smackdown today, do me a massive favor here and tapping on that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this content to let me know that you wanna see more content just like this. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a single video. Now. Let's get to it here with the more matured dividend investor crazed JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, ticker symbol JEPI, which was established only three years ago in 2020 by portfolio managers with over 60 years of combined experience investing into both equities and derivatives, which resulted in a rather defensive yet fundamental approach when it comes to stock selection for this specific ETF that's all based on risk adjusted stock rankings, along with a strategy involving options to generate monthly income. The result, a very attractive, competitive monthly income king. A matter of fact, this year, despite all the ups and downs and the uncertainty, JEPI appreciated by over 6% to which it's now trading for $55.32 per share. And of course, analysts are still foreseeing upside, over 9% worth of it, coming up to a share price of $60.59 per share. But before we get any deeper into JEPI's performance, I want you to understand exactly what you're about to be invested into, as JEPI currently holds 120 holdings within it, totaling over $28.3 billion in assets under management, with its top holdings being Adobe Systems, followed by Amazon, Microsoft, MasterCard, and Comcast. So all companies that I'm sure you're very familiar with. Now I also want you to take note of both JEPI's beta as well as expense ratio, with the beta coming in at just 0.61, for those of you seeking more comfort, instability. And on the other hand, we have this expense ratio that is in my opinion higher than I'd like it to be coming in at 0.35%, meaning you'll pay $35 per $10,000 invested into JEPI. However, perhaps it's all worth it thanks to the dividend yield coming in at a whopping 10.43%. Now speaking of that $10,000, if you had it invested into JEPI, we can go back to JEPI's date of inception to discover you would have returned 46% with all dividends and capital gains reinvested, which would mean an approximate value of $14,645. That's a cool $4,645 worth of a profit. But if you think that's impressive, get ready to grab a hold of the bottom of your seat as we discuss the JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF, ticker symbol JEPQ, which admits their current market environment with all the excitement in the tech sector lately has just been on fire. Now, of course, we are talking about an ETF that was strategically designed to generate monthly income through a combination of selling options and investing in US large cap growth stocks, similarly to JEPI, but JEPQ has a myopic focus on delivering significant returns associated with the NASDAQ 100 index. So investors, 
where exactly is JEPQ year to date? After soaring by over 26% from $38 per share, it's now trading for $48.78 per share as of this video. And yes, the analysts out there are foreseeing more growth coming JEPQ's way with almost five more percent worth of upside. That places the share price at $51.05 per share, which leads me to the question, what holdings are in this super fund to which we have just 81 holdings within it that total a little over $4 billion worth of assets under management with the top positions for JEPQ coming down to Microsoft Apple, Google, Nvidia, and Amazon, all of which, again, I'm sure you are very familiar with as they have been dominating the heck out of the NASDAQ. Now, as for the fund's reliability and expenses, it's coming in with a bit higher of a beta at 0.89, but the same expense ratio at just 0.35%, which again is $35 per $10,000 invested. And speaking of that 10 grand, if you invested it when JEPQ was initially established in 2022, we'd be talking about a return of roughly 11% with an approximate value of $11,065, with the vast majority of those returns really coming through since February of this year. Now, that is just something else. And the longer you hold JEPQ, the more you're gonna enjoy the dividend coming in at a staggering 11.63%. Now investors, in my opinion, these are both rock solid funds to invest into as long as you play your cards right and perhaps swing with them as the market ebbs and flows. But moreover, enjoy the dividends in tax advantage accounts. Agree, disagree, let me know your thoughts down in a comment or two below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this one right here. But before you check it out, give me that thumbs up button and some love, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to never miss a single video.